Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is about how to help you find what a font is when somebody sends you a picture, and this is a picture of a font. It's not a font itself. As you can see, it's pixelized. So what you can do, they send you a picture and you've got it in the Corel. I would use Snagit, but on all Windows versions or all Windows, you have a snipping tool. Just go new and then highlight what you want to take a picture of. Didn't seem to work that time. New. There we go. And now it'll save that as a picture. I've already got it saved, but I'm going to call it font find two. And it's saved. Now go to a program called whatfontis.com. Now my computer is old and it's messed up. This should say browse right here. And you're going to browse your pictures. And we're going to find font find two. Go to open. And then it's right there. And then hit find font. It's going to go through there and find these fonts. And they're kind of broken up. And I don't, I'm, I've only used this a couple of times. But they, you know, it says if they're broken up, kind of drag them to another window. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got separate windows. So what you do, you click on that line right there. Type what the font should be. A tap, capital F, capital O capital N and a capital T and then hit continue and there it is right there I already knew it was Alice in Wonderland this is a free font it'll list free fonts and commercial fonts and fonts that are for sale but it would help you find a font now I don't need to download it because I have Alice in Wonderland and that's I did that personally for the video, but let's just type it again. Font, all capitals, let's make it bigger. And let's go to Alice in Wonderland. And there you go. You have a font. Now, it's a little more difficult than uh, that sometimes, but the key thing, and you can see these are, one's a font and one's a, JPEG. So when you go to this website, um, it won't let me back up. It'll lose. But you have to do it kind of in the order I did it, where you have to actually tell it what letter um, it is. Let's go back a little bit here. And your computer probably works better than mine, but when you go to that picture, And then you go find a font. And it's basically it's breaking that font down. And like it's like it says somewhere um, when you have a font that's kind of cut off, uh, change it. And then the key is to tell it what the what the font is or what the letter is. F O N T and then go and there's a way I just saw it on the screen where you could view uh, no here it is display all fonts display free fonts and free alternatives so let's try checking that and go to continue and Alice in Wonderland was a free font so it ought to come right back up and there it is right there. It found that font off of a photograph, off of a JPEG. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.